I'm the head honcho of the Arataki gang, and everyone knows my names. Uh, names, I have many. <clears throat> Arataki, the one and only Ito. Arataki, the Oni Sumo King Ito. Arataki, the pride of Oni Ito. Arataki, Beetle Gladiator Ito. Arataki, the ultimate TCG champion Ito. Arataki, he might lose, but he'll never admit defeat Ito. Anyway, these are some of the ones I usually go by, so uh, go ahead, take your pick. I'll respond to whichever one you choose, I promise. <laughs> You're welcome. Arataki numero uno Ito, here in the flesh. <laughs> Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all, fair and square. <laughs> that's right. Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. <laughs> Real men don't carry umbrellas. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, it's really starting to pick up. Uh, quick, come on. Get yours out. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Hey, Raiden Shogun, is that you? Well, guess what? You're not the boss of me. Uh-huh, that's right. You heard me. Go ahead. Strike me down. All right. It's time for a snowball fight. You're never going to win, though. I... Uh, 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 the sky is clear and the sun is shining. Time to get the Onikabuto out for some training. Come on, little guy. Let's go. Bottom line, never let the wind get to you, especially when you got a killer hairstyle like mine. Oh yeah. Morning sunshine. Hey, uh so listen, I'm fresh out of Mora, uh again. <laughs> but hey, who needs some lousy job when we can just go find somewhere fun to hang out, huh? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, now that we've had some grub, why don't we go find somewhere to kick it for a while? Uh Hanamizaka? Nah, boring. Uh -huh. Uh, Tenryo Commission? No, 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 no. Ah, forget it. Let's go hang around Rito. Shh, shh. You hear that? Oh, oh no. It's a ghost. Run! <laughs> Psych! <laughs> I got you good there. <laughs> I got you, didn't I? If you're tired, go ahead and call it a night. Hmm? Me? Oh, don't worry. Nah, I, I sleep with my eyes open. <laughs> Literally. Oh, so they're saying I can't hold down a real job, huh? Well, <laughs> sorry to break it to you, but I'm a delinquent. That means it's my job not to have a real job. And if anyone's got a problem with that, uh, uh, who's got a problem with that, huh? You got a problem with that? You got a problem with... <coughs> not joking. <sighs> <sighs> sorry, I got a little worked up there. Where was I? Oh, yeah, so, uh, work isn't really my thing. But don't worry, I don't rob or steal or anything like that. When I'm really running low on funds, I just take the odd job here and there to make ends meet. You know, like, uh, transporting stuff, delivering documents, helping businesses attract customers. Just enough to keep the wolf from the door. <laughs> the Oni have been through a lot to get to where we are today. And look at us now, living peacefully alongside the humans. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's still plenty of people out there who've got a bone to pick with us. Hmm? Change? Oh, yeah. Oh, things are gonna change, all right. You can count on that. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it won't involve any sucking up to the humans on my part. Nuh-uh. I'm gonna let my actions do the talking. They'll come to respect me eventually. Hey, so I always see you running around everywhere doing this and that for other people, but you're not in it for the Mora, are you? Nah, you're just straight up looking out for your fellow man. I know a true homie when I see one, and no one appreciates a homie's homie more than yours truly. Put it here, partner. You and I are gonna make a great team. <laughs> I just know it. You know what? I gotta admit, I respect you. Always have. I could really see you as a member of the gang, you know? I mean, you really have what it takes. What do you say? I've even come up with a catchy title to tag on after your name. Get this. <clears throat> the Traveler, second to one. Huh? Get it? Because 
you know, I'm numero uno, you're my number two, and together, we're the most powerful duo in the whole friggin' world, baby! <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, all jokes aside, I, I know you're on some important journey or whatever, so go ahead, get out there, and do what you want to do. Just remember, the Arataki gang will always answer your call. Uh, don't, don't even ask. Just the thought of it makes my blood boil! Ooh, first, first, the Shogun's army goes out and steals everyone's precious visions, which, already a heinous crime, right? But then, then, they go and stick them all over that statue with absolutely no sense of organization whatsoever. I, I mean, think about it. The more powerful the vision, the higher up on the statue it should go. That would make sense, right? But no, some class A jerk in the Tenryo Commission thought it'd be funny to put my vision right at the very bottom. Come on! If you ever have something on your mind, you can always try writing in to That's Life Magazine's advice column. Miss Hina always manages to come up with an encouraging and heartwarming response for all her readers. Just look at me. I used to be a lost soul, but not anymore. And it's all thanks to her. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I managed to sign up for one of her upcoming meet and greets. Oh, I've been counting down the days. Wish it would go faster. Uh, question for you. Do my horns look boring once you get used to them? Cause, uh, I was thinking of switching up the style, going for like a, like a total overhaul, you know? I'm thinking, uh, paint them in rainbow stripes and then strap a few fireflies on for good measure. Huh? Huh? Ha <laughs> I bet that'd turn some heads on the streets. Like, dude, you're rocking those sweet rainbow horns, man! <laughs> yeah! Aw, oh, man, this is totally genius! I'm gonna round up the gang and get them working on it ASAP. Want another real secret to catching Oni Kabuto? It's all in the eyeballs. You gotta keep those bad boys squeaky clean at all times. Make sure your eyesight's as sharp as a hawk. <laughs> Trust me, when you're in the middle of a thunderstorm and the rain's coming down and the wind's blowing in your face, you gotta watch out because lavender melons and Oni Kabuto, well, they can really start to look the same. Believe me, I know. Some of the boys have been telling me that he was the star of the show at the Vision Hunt ceremony. I'm like, are you kidding me? How come he gets his own special ceremony? Was the hundredth Vision supposed to be, like, stronger than the other 99 or something? <sighs> nah, that can't have been it. Because, <laughs> hello, they would have chosen me if that's what they were going for. <laughs> I only wish I could have met Ayato sooner. He really taught me something. You can kindle the warrior spirit, even in the weakest of bugs. Yep, I really took that one to heart. Yeah, if it weren't for those words of wisdom, I'm pretty sure I would have given up beetle fighting after losing for the 780th time. <laughs> yeah, I guess sometimes it takes a warrior to understand a warrior. When we're playing trading card games or battling beetles, we're always totally on the same wavelength. Huh. She's always showing off her fancy fireworks and toys to the kids. Well, I'm sick of it. Nobody steals my thunder. I'm the one who's supposed to be adored by the kids. Me! And that goes for you, too. You're siding with me on this, okay? Huh? What do you mean you're not a kid? <laughs> Details. If you're shorter than me, you're a kid as far as I'm concerned. Word on the street is that he blocked the Muso no Hitotachi after you escaped from Tenchukaku. Seriously? Because, I mean, that is awesome. <laughs> Who knows how he pulled it off? Hey, now that I think about it, he's from a fallen clan, and I'm from a fallen clan. That kind of makes us equals, huh? <laughs> yeah, so uh, next time someone attacks you, it's my turn to block the blade. During the Vision Hunt decree, the Shogun had to send her top Tengu in person to get my vision off me. <laughs> I mean, she must have found me to be quite the pain in the neck. But, you know... She's abolished the Vision Hunt decree now, so no hard feelings, I guess. As long as she's learned her lesson, of course. Because if she pulls something like that again, this old pain in the neck will be back with a vengeance. Ha. I crushed that Kitsune ramen eating contest we had. Even all that fried tofu couldn't stand in my way. Ha. She didn't come close to beating me. I was uh, bedridden for more than a month after that. But you know what? I'd rather lie in bed a winner than walk away a loser. So... <laughs> Anyway, uh, I had the last laugh, because she had to foot the bill for 32 bowls of noodles. Ha ha! You know what? <sighs> yeah, she beat me during the Vision Hunt decree. I'm not ashamed to admit it. When you lose, you admit defeat. And when you screw up, you take it on the chin like a man. A and anyway, let's not forget which one of us won't agree to a rematch. Her, the Tengu warrior. It's just a sumo street fight. I mean, what's she so afraid of? 
If she keeps snubbing me, I'm gonna have to stop calling her Cujo Tengu and start calling her Cujo Chicken. <laughs> we'll see what she thinks of that. Oh, yeah, the doggy general in the resistance. Hey, I've got to hand it to him. He may be on the small side, but he's got quite the fighting spirit. Also, he gives off this vibe that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Almost as if he understands my innermost feelings. I mean, I barely met the guy, so it's kind of weird. Nobody questions my leadership in the gang. What I say goes. Except when it comes to Shinobu. She's always challenging everything I say. And not only that, all the hard-earned loot I bring back and share with everyone, she goes and returns it. But also, she gets me out of jail and out of every mess we get ourselves into, so I'll let it slide. Besides, I don't want to get on her bad side. An angry Shinobu would make my life a nightmare. <sighs> All I did was give her a little pat on the head this one time when she wasn't looking, and now she pounces to attack every time she lays eyes on me. <laughs> what can I say? Tanuki are adorable. What am I supposed to do? Not pat one on the head? Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing. She beats you up for calling her a Tanuki, too. What's up with that? I mean, a Tanuki's what she's going for, right? Sheesh. Talk about getting your fur all ruffled over nothing. I know what you're thinking. I don't see it. How did this guy get to become the boss of the Arataki gang on the back of beetle fighting and trading card games? Well, you're right. Those are just child's play. Want to know the hard skills that really got me where I am? Eating ramen standing upside down, sleeping with my eyes open, playing the harmonica with my nose, and swatting house flies with my hair. Yeah, I know. Bet you see it now, huh? People in Inazuma have this ritual every time there's a, a holiday or they move or get sick or whatever, where they throw beans around and chant, Fortune beans are falling down. Send the Oni out of town. Fortune in, Oni out. Fortune in, Oni out. Ugh, the chant gets worse every time I hear it. But the streets full of beans with my allergies? Total disaster. I gotta fix this for every Oni out there. We're innocent, people. Quit trying to ward us off and drive us out every time there's a minor life event. In a attempt to end human prejudice toward the Oni, I had the gang use a camera to take a picture of me showing my softer side and stick it to the message board in Inazuma City. Next thing we know, some jerks have graffitied all over it. Ah, uh, mm, mm. Then some Ashigaru blockheads from the Tenryo Commission accused me of disrupting the peace. Next, it was the Yashiro Commission, complaining it ruined the atmosphere in the area. And finally, even the Kanjo Commission got involved. They sent some lackeys over, demanding advertising tax. Ugh, they have no idea who the bad guys are here. In the Arataki gang, we're proud to welcome people who've experienced adversity in their lives. Don't listen to the people who call us freaks or weirdos. Every member of my gang is like family to me, and they all feel the same way. Whatever happens, the gang will face it together, both the highs and the lows. I gotta respect the Blue Oni for sacrificing themselves so that the Crimson Oni could live on. In principle, though, I'm absolutely against it. No one should have to sacrifice their own kind for the sake of a better tomorrow, period. It's only a better tomorrow if it's a better tomorrow for everyone. We need to work together, not have everyone just focused on themselves, making their own sacrifice, trying to look cool in the process. Eh, I guess there's no change in the past. What's done is done. But from this day forward, no more sacrificing. Not on my watch. You go to sacrifice yourself, I'll stand right in your way. Beetle fighting, trading card games, spinning tops, kendama, hide and seek, you name it, I can play it. What do you say? Pick one and we'll have a little contest? Just make sure you're ready to get thrashed. Ha <laughs> Granny Oni isn't an Oni at all. In fact, she's the kindest human that has ever lived. She only got her nickname because she took me in. If people have got a problem with me, fine. I, I don't care what other people think anyway. But I wish people wouldn't go after her because of me. Lollipops are pretty much the best things ever. The candy tastes awesome, but also it looks really cool just having a stick hanging out of your mouth. It gives me like a, a real punk kind of vibe. Here, you try it. Uh, well, I am an Oni, so there's nothing I hate more than beans. Soybeans, mung beans, whatever. I hate them all. Just touching one is enough to set off my allergies, let alone eating them. We have to get people to resist this constant urge to throw beans everywhere. Today is an important day. I had to send the gang away, otherwise they'd be accusing me of favoritism. 
Here, take a look at this. I got you. The greatest birthday gift combo ever. One top grade Oni Kabuto. I'll have you know it took me three whole days and nights to catch this bad boy. One out of print collectible trading card that took me 300 rounds to get my hands on. And finally, a birthday song performance performed personally by yours truly. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear traveler. Happy birthday to you. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! <laughs> Better look out. I'm way stronger now. Oh, yeah. This is going to do wonders for my win ratio. Feel the power, baby. <laughs> Want to see me smash a boulder? I think numero uno just went from nickname to reality. Boom! <laughs> hey, but just because I made it to the top doesn't mean I'm gonna forget all the things you've done for me, okay? I've still got your back. Anytime, anywhere. Let's roll! <laughs> Bam! boy. Oni coming through! Who wants some of this? It's showtime! All right, new toys for the boys. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> Hello, free money. Goodbye, working for a living. Can't catch me. Never underestimate an Oni. I'm not losing. It's all part of the plan. It's just a scratch, I swear. See you at the rematch. At least I'm going down with style. My boys, I've let you down. You want some of this? <laughs> Is that all you got? Uh, okay, that one hurt. Go. Hey, I wasn't ready. Step aside. Ito's back in town. I am the man. And the crowd goes wild. So 轻易得到的东西哪有滋味来滚雪球吧都逛烂的混混着正义就是不务正业还有许多人对鬼族心存芥蒂 嗯, 怎么办? 当然要改变了, 
，但我不会刻意去讨好他们。我要用我自己的方式，赢得人类的尊重。喂，我看你总是东奔西跑的替人办事，图的不只是摩拉吧？你一定也是个豪爽仗义的人。哈，正好，本大爷最喜欢跟仗义的人打交道。我们绝对能成为超级合拍的搭档。说实话，我很欣赏你，一直很欣赏你。当然希望你能留在黄龙派了，哎，连给你的称号我都想好了，在你名字里填上天下第二，我俩就是数一数二组合。<笑>哎呀，玩笑归玩笑，我知道你还有更重要的使命，去吧，去做你想做的事情。总之你记住，黄龙派会无条件响应你。别问，说起这个我就火大。那群幕府军夺走人们珍视的东西，罪大恶极，竟然还敢乱拜神之眼！哎，照理说，越强的人，神之眼就应该嵌在越上面才对吧？到底是哪个不识抬举的，将本大爷的神之眼嵌在最下面呢？你要是有什么烦恼，可以试着给《闲事月刊》的问答栏目投稿，希娜小姐一定会给你一个温暖人心的答案。啊，托她的福，我的灵魂已经不再迷茫了。对了。我还报名了希娜小姐的线下见面会，哎，这日子怎么就过得那么慢呢？我头上的角，看久了会单调吗？要不用涂料把它弄成彩虹色吧？再抓点萤火虫绑在上面，走在街上炫彩夺目，想想就觉得很帅。本大爷果然是天才，我这就让兄弟们行动起来。抓鬼斗虫的唯一秘诀就是，抓之前。一定要擦亮双眼，看清楚，尤其是在风乱吹、雨乱下的雷雨天，一不小心就会把警瓜和鬼头虫弄混。听弟兄们说，他是第一百颗神之眼授演仪式的主角。嗯，为什么他会有专属的仪式啊？哎，难道说第一百颗神之眼是比前九十九颗厉害吗？不对，真是那样的话，那应该是本大爷来当这第一百颗才对。哈哈哈哈我跟林仁兄可以说是相见恨晚呢。如果不是他提醒我，让温顺的虫子燃起斗志，是我一生都该坚守的觉悟。也许早在第七百八十次战败时，我就放弃斗虫了。果然只有男人最懂男人。哎呀，我和他之间无需多言，在打牌和斗虫时，默契就已经悉数体现了。那家伙，仗着自己会做烟花和小玩具，哄起小孩来一套一套的。不行，不能让他抢尽风头。孩子王，本大爷是当定了，你也要站我这边。什么？你不是孩子？<笑>在我眼里，比我矮的全是孩子。听说你从天守阁逃出来后，是他挡下了吴想的一刀。帅呀！到底怎么做到的？你想，他是没落的贵族，我是没落的鬼族，某种意义上，我和他旗鼓相当啊。哈哈哈哈哈！那么，下一刀，本大爷替你挡了。搞眼兽令的时候，需要出动他得意的天狗才能制服我，说明本大爷一定让他很头痛吧。不过，既然他决定废除眼兽令，也不算无可救药。哼，他最好记住这次的教训，别再有下次，不然我一定会让他更头痛。哼，那场狐狸拉面比赛是我赢了。就算面里有油豆腐，他也别想赢我。那之后，那之后我躺了一个多月，但我至少守住了胜者的荣耀，而他就要承受父亲三十二万面前的耻辱。哈哈哈哈哈哈！眼令那会儿，我确实败给他了。哼，这也没什么好羞耻的，输了就堂堂正正投降，错了就老老实实挨打，这才是真男人。反倒是他，堂堂天狗。不敢应我的复仇之约，哼，不过是在十字路口相扑而已，这就怕了。他要是再不来应战，我就不叫他九条天狗了，我要叫他九条乌龟。哦，反抗军的小狗大将嘛，身材小小，但气魄非凡，不错不错。而且，他身上散发着一种让人内心温暖的熟悉感。奇怪，明明没见过他几年。黄龙派的弟兄们一般都会顺着我意，唯独这个忍呐、啊，老是跟我唱反调。本大爷辛辛苦苦迎来的战利品，竟然被他一件件还了回去。哎，算了
，看在他每次都会把我从牢房里捞出来，还替我们收拾了不少烂摊子，就不计较了。毕竟惹怒了他，我也没有好日子过。不过是趁他不注意的时候摸了摸他的头而已，现在一见面就要跳起来打我，<笑>没办法，这么可爱的小狸猫，谁见了都会忍不住想去摸摸头吧。哦，对了，喊他狸猫也会被揍，呃，为什么？那不就是狸猫吗？你一定很想问，为什么我只会斗虫和打牌，却能稳坐荒龙派老大的宝座？哼，的确，只会这些小儿科难以服众。干脆就一口气告诉你吧，我还会倒立吃拉面，睁着眼睡觉，用鼻孔吹口琴，用发梢拍苍蝇这类绝活。怎么样，消除你心中的疑惑了吧？道奇人每逢过节、搬家、生病，都爱撒豆子，一边撒还一边念念叨叨：“啊，福豆洒落，鬼怪拜错，福来福来，鬼去鬼去，我都听出耳茧了。”关键是豆子还经常撒出路面来，害我过敏。哼，可恶啊！我一定要为鬼族证明，鬼啥也没干，别有事没事就想着驱鬼驱魔的。为了消除人类对鬼族的偏见，有次我让弟兄们。把我温柔和蔼的形象用留影机拍成画片，贴在道奇城的留言板上。嘿，结果有些人竟敢在画片上乱涂乱画。更可恨的是，天岭奉贤的蠢货族亲说我引起社会治安恐慌，社奉贤又说什么败坏风气，连勘定奉贤的走狗都要来要什么广告营业税，真是不识好歹。包容和理解这些有过不幸经历的人，这才是我荒龙派的骄傲。你别听外面的人说什么怪不怪人的，在我眼里，他们每一位都是我重要的家人。哼，这群小子也抱着和我一样的想法，不管怎样都会和荒龙派同甘共苦。我很敬佩轻鬼牺牲自己换取赤鬼延续的行为，但绝不认同他们的理念。更好的活下去，绝不该靠牺牲同类换取，应该是一起更好的活着才对。哼，自顾自的牺牲，独自耍帅的行为算什么嘛？哎，过去已经没办法改变了，但今后，在我黄龙一斗的眼皮子底下，没有人可以随便牺牲自己。本大爷，要挡在你们前面。斗虫、打牌、陀螺、剑玉、捉迷藏，总之你想得到的、想不到的，我全都会。怎么样？要比什么？做好全盘皆输的准备吧！哈哈哈哈哈！鬼婆婆不是鬼，她可是世界上对我最好的人类，只是因为收养了我。才会被叫鬼婆婆的，我怎么样都无所谓，反正我也不在乎别人的看法。哎，但我不想他因为我而被别人指指点点。棒棒糖全身都是宝，不但糖好吃，哎，棍子掉在嘴里还很帅，为我增添了一丝不羁的气质。来，你也试试吧。我是鬼，我是鬼啊！最讨厌的当然是豆子啊，黄豆、绿豆，通通不行，别说吃了。光是碰到身上都会过敏，哎，所以说，撒豆子这种陋习还是赶紧灭绝吧。今天是个重要的日子，我特意把弟兄们支开了，不然他们肯定要说我偏心。来，看看，我给你准备的生日礼物可是最高规格的，抓了三天三夜才抓到的特级鬼毒虫一只，打上了三百回合迎来的绝版卡牌一张。哦，还有本大爷亲自演唱的生日歌一首。呵呵呵呵呵，嗯，祝你生日快乐，祝你生日快乐。哦，就是这样，就是这样，力气更大了，好强的力量，胜率绝对会提升吧，这力气。一拳砸碎岩石，应该不在话下吧？这样一来，我就是名副其实的荒龙天下第一斗了。你的功劳，本大爷不会忘。以后，就由本大爷来保护你了。斗战野牛，给我砸！就是你了！鬼王游行，统统闪开！鬼域狂欢，哈哈，到我表演了！快看看有没有新鲜玩意儿！本大爷果然运气超凡，这些够我躺三天不干活了吧？追不上我，别太小看鬼族了。你以为
我这就会认输吗？区区小伤，不用管，不用管。复仇之战，未完待续。保家的姿势，得帅才行。辜负弟兄们的期待了。胆子不小，用点力，太用力了吧？可惜可耻。都给本大爷让道，救世主来喽！多大点事儿，看我来摆平。아타키파의큰형님으로서이몸의명성은이미사방에퍼졌지아라타키유아독존의이토아라타키스모의왕이토아라타키오니족의자랑이토아라타키귀신풍뎅이투사이토아라타키카드게임왕중왕이토질수있지만절대항복은낳는아라타키의진짜사나이이토모두내가자주쓰는이름이니사양말고좋아하는걸로골라서편하게불러 <웃음> 아라타키천하제일의이토가왔다 <웃음> 쉽게얻는음식이무슨맛이있겠어그래서난간식을모라로산적이없어모두정정당당하게이겨서얻은거지곤충싸움을우습게보지말라고끝까지싸우면서땀과눈물로더강한자신이되는게바로인생이지사나이는우산따윈쓰지않아아근데비가좀많이내리네빨,빨리우산좀펴봐이봐라이덴쇼군맞지잘들어이몸은절대굴복하지않아할수있으면어디벼락으로맞춰보라고 <웃음> 눈덩이굴려볼까날이길수없을걸날씨좋구만보이모셔둔귀신풍뎅이를꺼내서훈련시켜야겠어바람이아무리쐬도헤어스타일은사수하는것이게남자의자존심이지조나씨모라가다떨어졌는데도정말일하기싫군어디놀러라도갈까해도부른데어디로갈까나하나미자거긴이제질렸고텐뇨봉행에가서소란피우기도좀그렇고그래이도나가자쉬누가말하고있는거지그야귀신이지 <웃음> 놀랐나피곤하면빨리자라무리하지말고나난눈뜨고도잘수있다고 <웃음> 내가빈둥거린다고 <웃음> 그럴리가이몸은건달이잖아건달의번업이빈둥거린건데뭐문제있어 <웃음> 아좀흥분했네아미안안심해도둑질이나강도짓은안하니까정못버티겠으면아르바이트로몰아좀벌면돼화물운송이나편지배달은일도아니고개업현장에서분위기띄우는일도자주하지몰아를일당으로만받을수있으면오케이야 <웃음> 오니족은수많은일을겪으면서지금처럼인간과함께살수있는좋은시대를맞이했어아직도오니족에게적의를품고있는사람이많긴하지만응어떡하냐고당연히바꿔야지그렇다고그들의비위를맞추려는게아니야내방식대로인간의존중을얻어내겠어이봐넌늘남들대신일처리하느라바쁘던데그게단지모라때문만은아니겠지너도분명호탕하고의리있는사람일거야마침이몸이의리있는사람을좋아하거든우린잘맞는파트너가될수있을것같은데사실난줄곧네가마음에들었어그러니까당연히아라타키파에남아줬으면해너한테줄칭호까지생각해두었다고네이름에천하제이를붙이는거지그럼우린제일제이의조합이되는거야 <웃음> 농담은이만하고너한테더중요한사명이있다는걸알아가봐가서하고싶은일을해아라타키파는무조건너에게응답한다는거잊지말고그얘긴꺼내지도마열받아죽겠으니까그막부군들은사람들이소중히여기는물건을빼앗아갔어그강무도한놈들그것도모자라신의눈을멋대로늘어놓다니강한사람일수록신의눈이위에박혀야하거늘대체어떤놈이이몸에신의눈을맨밑에박아둔거야
고민 있으면 가십 월관제 문답 코너에 투고해봐. 희나 씨가 마음이 따뜻해지는 답을 해줄 거야. 하, 그녀 덕분에 내 영혼은 더 이상 방황하지 않아도 돼. 아, 참, 나 희나 씨 팬미팅도 신청했어. 시간이 왜 이렇게 느리게 가는 건지. 내 머리에 있는 뿔 말이야. 오래 보면 좀 밋밋한가? 무지개 색으로 칠해버리고 반딧불이 몇 마리 잡아서 위에 묶어두면 엄청 눈에 띄겠지? 생각만 해도 멋져. 역시 난 천재야. 바로 형제들한테 알려서 실행해야겠어. 귀신 풍뎅이를 잡는 유일한 비결은 바로 잡기 전에 두눈 부릅뜨고 똑똑히 보는 거야. 특히 비바람 내리고 천둥 번개가 치는 날. 자칫하면 제비꽃 열매를 귀신 풍뎅이로 착각할 수 있다고. 그가 백 번째 신의 눈 수환 의식의 주인공이라고 형제들이 그러던데, 어? 왜그 사람만 따로 의식을 치른 거지? 백 번째 신의 눈이 아흔 아홉 번째보다 강하다는 말인가? 아니지. 그럼 당연히 이 몸이 백 번째가 돼야지. <웃음> 나와 아야토 형님은 늦게 만난 게 아니야. 온순한 곤충을 투지에 불타게 하는 게내 평생 지켜야 할 각오라는 걸 그가 상기시켜 주지 않았다면, 난. 780번째 패배 때 곤충 싸움을 포기했을지도 몰라 하, 역시 남자가 남자를 제일 잘한다니까 나와 그 사이엔 많은 말이 필요 없어 카드 게임이나 곤충 싸움을 할 때면 죽이 착착 맞거든 그 녀석 폭죽이랑 장난감 좀 만들 줄 안다고 어린애들을 잘 달래더군 네, 전부 그 녀석이 선수치게 될순 없지 골목대장은 나라고 너도 내 편에 서야 돼 뭐? 넌 어린애가 아니라고? 허, 나보다 작으면 다 어린애지 네가 천수각에서 도망쳐 나온 후 그가 무상의 일태도를 막았다면서? 멋진데? 어떻게 한 거지? 그는 몰락한 귀족이고 난 몰락한 노니족이니 어떤 의미에서 그는 나와 막상막하겠군? <웃음> 그럼 다음번엔 이 몸이 막아주마 안수영 때 그녀의 자랑스러운 탱구를 파견하면서까지 날 제압했으니 내가 꽤 골치 아픈 존재란 거겠지? 안수령을 폐지하기로 한걸 보면 그렇게 막 되먹진 않았나 보군 이번에 얻은 교훈을 잘 기억해두는 게 좋을 거야 또 그러면 더 골치 아프게 해주겠어 그 여우 라멘 대회는 내가 이겼다고 안에 유부가 있었어도 그녀는 날못 이겼을걸? 그 후로 한단 넘게 누워있었지만 적어도 난 승자의 영광을 지켰어 대신 그녀는 라면 서른 두 그릇 값을 지불해야 하는 지옥을 감당해야 했지 <웃음> 안수령 땐 내가 그녀에게 졌었지 딱히 부끄러울 일은 아니야 졌으면 당당하게 항복하고 틀렸으면 제대로 벌을 받는 게 진정한 사나이지 오히려 펭구인 그녀가 내 복수에 응하지 않다니 사거리에서 스몰을 했을 뿐인데 겁먹는 게 말이 돼? 계속 내 도전을 받아들이지 않으면 쿠조 텐구 말고 쿠조 거북이라고 부를 테다! 오, 저 한군의 강아지 대장! 몸집은 작지만 폐기만큼은 최고더군! 아주 좋아! 게다가 어딘가 마음이 따뜻해지는 익숙한 느낌이 들어 이상하다, 분명 몇번안본 사이인데 아라타키파 형제들은 보통 내 뜻을 따르지만 유독 신호부는 늘 나와 반대라니까 이 몸이 힘들게 얻은 전리품을 하나씩 돌려놓더니 뭐 매번 날 감방에서 꺼내주고 우리 대신 난장판도 여러 번 수습해 주었으니 그만 따져야지 그녀를 화나게 하면 나도 딱히 좋을 게 없으니까 몰래 머리 좀 쓰다듬었을 뿐인데 그 뒤로 날볼 때마다 펄쩍 뛰면서 때리려고 하네 <웃음> 어쩔 수 없잖아 그렇게 귀여운 라쿤을 보면 누구든 쓰담쓰담 하고 싶어진다고 아, 라쿤이라고 불러도 막 때린다니까? 왜지? 라쿤 맞는데 내가 곤충 싸움이랑 카드 게임밖에 할줄 모르는데 어떻게 아라타키파 큰형님 자리에 있을 수 있는지 궁금한 눈치인데? 흠 <웃음> 확실히 이런 것만 해선 남들 위해 설수 없어. 이번 기회에 모두 설명해 주지. 난 물구나무 서서 라면 먹기, 눈 뜨고 자기, 코로 하모니카 불기, 머리카락으로 파리 잡기와 같은 특기를 가지고 있어. 어때? 의욕이 좀 풀렸지? 이나지마 사람들은 명절이나 이사, 그리고 아플 때마다 콩을 뿌려. 
그러면서 행운의 콩이 떨어지면 귀신이 괴멸하네 복은 안으로 귀신은 밖으로 라고 중얼거리지 귀에 피가 나도록 들었어 문제는 콩이 길바닥까지 굴러나와서 내 알레르기가 도진다는 거야 젠장 반드시 오니족의 이름을 바로잡겠어 우린 아무것도 안 했는데 뭐든 요괴니 귀신이니부터 쫓을 생각이나 하고 말이야 오니족에 대한 인간의 편견을 없애기 위해 한 번은 형제들에게 내 부드럽고 다정한 모습을 사진기에 담아서 이나즈마성 게시판에 붙여달라고 했는데 어떤 사람 위에 낙서를 했더라고 더 괘씸한 건 텐요 봉행의 아시가루 멍청이는 내가 치안에 혼란을 일으킨다고 하고 야시로 봉행은 내가 사회 풍조를 망친다 그러고 간조 봉행 놈들까지 와서 광고 영업세를 내라고 하더라니까 에라이 살이 분별 못하는 놈들 같으니라고 불행한 경험을 한 사람들을 너그럽게 이해하는 거야말로 우리 아라타키파의 자랑이지 남들이 이상한 사람이라고 수군거려도 내 눈엔 그들 모두 소중한 가족이야 흠, 녀석들도 나랑 같은 생각이지 무슨 일이 있든 아라타키파와 히로에락을 함께 할 테니까 붉은 오니가 계속 살아갈 수 있도록 자신을 희생한 푸른 오니의 행동이 정말 존경스러워 하지만 그들의 이념엔 절대 동의하지 않아 더잘 살기 위해선 동족을 희생시키는 게 아니라 함께 잘 사는 게 중요하니까 멋대로 희생해놓고 혼자 멋진 척이라니 하, 과거는 돌이킬 수 없어 하지만 이제부터 나 아라타키 이토 눈앞에서 자신을 희생하는 사람이 있으면 가만 안둬 내가 너희 앞을 막아설 테니까 곤충 싸움, 카드 게임, 팽이 돌리기, 죽방을 놀이, 숨바꼭질 난 네가 아는 것과 모르는 것 모두 할줄 알아 어때? 뭘 열어볼래? 전부 질 준비나 하시라고 <웃음> 오니 할몸은 오니가 아니야 그분은 나한테 가장 잘해주는 인간이지 날 입양해서 오니 할몸으로 불리는 것 뿐이야 난 다른 사람이 어떻게 생각하든 신경 안 써서 괜찮아 근데 나 때문에 그분이 손가락질 받는 건 싫어 막대 사탕은 버릴 게 하나도 없어 사탕이 맛있는 건 말할 것도 없고 막대를 입에 물면 꽤 폼나거든 이 몸한테 자유로운 분위기를 더해준달까? 자, 너도 한번 해봐 난 온이잖아 제일 싫어하는 건 당연히 콩이지 황두든 녹두든 다 싫어 먹기는 커녕 몸에 닿기만 해도 알레르기가 생긴다고 그러니까 콩 뿌리는 악습은 빨리 사라져야 돼 오늘은 중요한 날이라 특별히 형제들을 떼어놓고 왔어 안 그러면 틀림없이 내가 편애한다고 할 테니까 자, 봐봐 내가 널 위해 초호화 생일 선물을 준비했다고 3일 동안 겨우 잡은 특급 귀신 풍뎅이 한 마리 300번의 대결로 얻은 절판된 카드 한장 그리고 이 몸이 직접 부르는 생일 축하 노래 <웃음> 생일 축하합니다 생일 축하합니다 오, 맞아, 바로 이거야 힘이 더 세졌어 엄청나게 강한 힘이야 분명 승률이 오르겠지 이 힘, 한 손으로 바위 깨는 건 문제도 아니겠지 이제 명실상부와 나라타키 천하 제일의 이토다 네 공로는 절대 잊지 않아 앞으로는 이 몸이 널 지켜주지 바위의 기세, 부숴버려 너로 정했다! 오니의 왕이 행처하신다! 모두 비켜! 사람 잡는 오니가 왔다고! 내가 공연할 차례군! 어디 재미있는 물건 좀 없나? 역시 이 몸은 운이 좋군! 이 정도면 사흘 동안 일안 해도 되겠어? 난못 잡을걸! 오니 족을 얕보지 마! 겨우 이 정도로 항복할 것 같아? 이깟 상처 신경 쓰지 마! 복수는 아직 끝나지 않았어 쓰러질 때도 폼나게 형제들의 기대를 쳐버렸군 간땡이가 부었구나 힘좀 써봐 이봐 힘을 너무 썼잖아 치사하게 기습이냐 다들 길을 비켜라 구세주가 왔다 아직 거 내가 처리하지 아라타키 하노 오야분도세 오레사모나나와 스데니 시호니 시레와 탓테 아라타키 
ゆいが独尊一頭新たき土俵器用一頭新たき鬼族の誇り一頭新たき鬼カブトムシ剣闘士一頭新たき札遊びの王一頭新たき負けてもいいが負けを認めぬ男の中の男一頭これらはすべて俺様の通りなだどれか好きなのを選んで呼んでくれて構わねえぜ遠慮すんな<笑>新たき天下第一一頭ここに参上カッ<笑>簡単に手にできるものに意味なんざねえ俺様は歌詞一つでさえモラを使わず正々堂々と勝ち取ってくるのさ虫相撲をなめるんじゃねえ汗と涙の一騎打ちを乗り越え自らを強くする<笑>これぞ人生ってもんよ男は傘なんか刺さねえってこりゃ大ぶりすぎんだろう早く早く傘させ傘おいライデン将軍だな聞け俺様は屈服しねえ当てられるもんなら当ててみろってんだうひふい雪転がしで遊ぼうぜお前じゃ俺様には勝てねえけどなへっくせいい天気だ今度日は秘蔵の鬼カブトムシを特訓させねえとなどんなに風が強かろうと髪型は乱れちゃならねえこれが男の美学ってもんよよもうモラが尽きたんだが今日は働きたくねえんだどっか遊びに行かねえか飯を食い終わったらどこ行くんだ花見坂はもう飽きたし天領奉行に行くのもあんまよくねえなだったら離島に行ってみっかしどこからか声が鬼だ<笑>驚いたか疲れたんなら寝ろ無理はするな俺様か俺様は目を開けてても寝れるんだ<笑>俺様がまともなことをやってねってあいつらが言ってたのか<笑>何言ってんだ俺様は歌舞伎者だぜまともなことをやらねえのが歌舞伎者の真髄なんか問題でもあんのか<笑>悪い少し高ぶっちまった安心しろ俺様は盗みも強盗もやらねえ生きていけなくなったら臨時の仕事でもやってもらおう稼ぐさ荷運び手紙配達開業直後の客寄せ日雇いでもらおうくれるってんなら何でもいいぜへへ<笑>人間と共に暮らせるこの良き時代を迎えるため鬼族は数々のことを経験してきただが惜しいことに今でも多くの人間が鬼族に対してわだかまりを抱えてるんじゃあどうするかってもちろん変えるんだよだが俺様はわざとあいつらを喜ばせるようなことは絶対にしねえ俺様は俺様のやり方で人間から尊重を勝ち取るおいお前はいつも誰かのためにあっちこっち走り回ってるがモラのためだけってわけじゃねえんだろならお前もきっとギリがたいやつだちょうどよかった俺様はギリがたいやつと付き合うのが好きなんだ俺たちは間違いなく息のあった兄弟になれるぜ実のところ俺様はずっとお前のことを高く評価してるだから当然お前が荒竹屋に残るのを願ってるぜお前の称号だって考えておいたんだお前の名前に天下第二とつければ俺たちは一二と数えられる双璧になる<笑>ま冗談はこれぐらいにしてお前にもっと重要な使命があるのは知ってるだから行けお前のやりたいことを全うしろだがこれだけは覚えとけよ荒滝屋はいつでも無条件でお前に応えるぜそれは聞くなそのことを話すとまた怒りがこみ上げてくる人々が大切にしているものを奪い
あげくの果てに神の目を雑に飾るとは幕府の目なんて極悪非道なやつらなんだ普通神の目の持ち主が強ければ強いほど上の方にはめ込むはずだろうだけど一体誰だ俺様の神の目を一番下にはめ込んだのは何か悩み事があるなら月刊漢字の質問欄に投稿してみるといいきっとひなさんからの心温まる答えがもらえるはずだぜああ彼女のおかげで俺様の魂はもう迷わずに住んでるそうだ俺様はひなさんとの交流会にも申し込んでてな本当に待ち遠しい俺様の頭にある角ずっと見てると単調すぎやしねえかいっそ塗料で虹色にしてみようそれからホタルを結びつけて通りを華やかに歩くくう考えただけでかっこよさが虹み出て,てくるぜ俺様はやっぱ天才だな今すぐ野郎どもに準備させよう鬼カブトムシを捕まえる唯一の秘訣はな目ん玉かっぴらいてよーく見ることだ特に雨風吹き荒れる日はよーく見ねえと炭で売りを鬼カブトムシと間違えちまうぜ野郎どもから聞いたんだが100個目の神の目をはめ込むメガリ儀式の主役はあいつらしいななんであいつには専用の儀式があるんだまさか100個目の神の目はそれ以外の99個よりもすごいのかいや待てよだったら100個目は俺様のはずだろうへへへへあやとの兄貴とはもっと早くに会えてたらよかったと思ってるぜあやとの兄貴に温厚な虫の闘志を再び燃やしてやることが俺様の生涯通すべき覚悟だと教えてもらったもしそれがなかったら俺様は多分780回目の敗北時に虫相撲をやめてたかもしれねえ<笑>やっぱ男を理解できるのは男だけだぜ俺様とアヤットの兄貴の間に余計な言葉はいらねえ札遊びや虫相撲の時も心が完全に通じ合ってたしなあいつ自分が花火とおもちゃを作れるからっていろんな手段で子供たちの機嫌を取りやがってん<笑>ダメだあいつにだけは脚光浴びされるわけねえかねえガキ大将は俺様って決まってるんだお前も絶対俺様の味方にえ何お前は子供じゃないけっ俺様に言わせりゃ俺様より背が低いやつはみんな子供でっつぬ聞いた話だがお前が天守閣から逃げた時あいつが無双の人たちを受け止めたんだよなかっこいいぜ一体どうやってやったんだろうな考えてもみろよあいつは没落した武家俺様は没落した鬼族ある意味俺様はあいつと同じだ<笑>だったら次の人たちは俺様がお前の代わりに受け止めてやる将軍がメガリレーを行ってた時俺様を制圧するためにご自慢の天狗まで動員させてたつまり俺様は将軍が頭を抱えるほどの相手だってことだろうだがメガリレーを廃止するって決めたんならまだ救いようがないわけじゃねえ今回の教訓を生かしてもうこんなこと二度としなければそれでいいじゃねえともっと頭を抱えさせてやるぜへへへあのキツネラーメンの勝負は俺様が勝ったたとえ油揚げが入っててもこの俺様に勝てると思うなよまああのあと1ヶ月ぐらい寝込んじまったが勝者の栄誉は守れただがあいつはどうだ32杯のラーメン代を支払うという屈辱を背負う羽目になった<笑>メガリレーの時確かにあいつに負けたけっ別に恥ずかしくはねえ負けたら正々堂々と投稿する間違ったことをやったらおとなしく責められるそれでこそ真の男ってもんだ逆にあいつはどうだ天狗のくせに俺様の復讐の申し出に応じねえ
十字路で相撲をやるのがそんなに怖いのかこれ以上応じる気がなけりゃ九条天狗じゃなく九条ガメって呼んでやれおう帝国軍のワンコ大将か体つきは小さいが肝が据わってて悪くねえそれにあいつの体からは心温まる親しみを感じるおかしいな会ったことはほとんどないんだが荒滝派の仲間たちはみんな俺様の意志に従うが唯一この忍ってやつはいつも俺様の真逆を行くんだ俺様が一生懸命勝ち取ってきた戦利品も一個ずつ元の場所に返しに行くまあいい毎回俺様を牢獄から出してくれるし俺たちの後片付けもしてくれるこのことは忘れようあいつを怒らせしまったらいい暮らしもできなくなるからな気づいてない時に頭を撫でただけなのにあれから会うたびに俺様に飛びかかって殴ってきやがる<笑>まったく仕方のないやつだあんなに可愛いたぬき誰だって頭を撫でたくなるだろうあそうだったタヌキって呼んでも殴られるんだったなでもなんでだタヌキだろあれお前はきっとなんで俺様が虫相撲と札遊びしかできないのに荒滝派の親分の座につけてるか気になるんだろう<笑>確かにそれ式のことだけじゃあ人の上に立つのは無理だいい機会だお前に教えてやろう俺様は逆立ちでラーメンが食えて鼻で抗菌が吹けて髪でハエが叩けるんだどうだこれで疑問は吹っ飛んだだろう稲妻人は毎度祭りや引っ越し病気になった時に豆をまく鬼は外服は落ちって言いながらなもう耳にタコができるほど聞いたぜしかも豆がしょっちゅう外に飛んでくるもんだから俺様のアレルギーがくそ俺様は必ず鬼族のために鬼が何もやってないことを証明してやる何かにつけて鬼退治とか魔退治なんてそんなのやるもんじゃねえ人間の鬼族に対する偏見をなくすため仲間たちに俺様の優しそうな姿を写真機で撮ってもらって稲妻城の掲示板に貼ったんだそしたら誰かが写真に落書きしやがったしかも天領奉行のバカども民衆の混乱を引き起こすから治安に悪いとか言いやがる社奉行からも風紀を乱すと言われ勘定奉行の犬には広告営業税を取られるとかなんとかうんちくしょう分からずやともめ不幸な経験をした人を抱き止め理解するこれが俺たち荒滝派の誇りだ外のやつらはいつも怪人というがそんなのは無視しろ俺様からすりゃあいつらは一人一人俺様の大事な家族だへへ<笑>あいつらもみんな俺様と同じ考えさどんなことがあっても荒滝派と共に苦楽を共にしていくだろう俺様は青鬼の自己犠牲と引き換えに赤鬼を存続させる行為を尊敬しているだが彼らの理念に賛同することはできねえよりよく生きていくことは決して同族の犠牲と引き換えになり立つことなんかじゃねえ共によりよく生きていくことこそ大事なんだ勝手に犠牲になって勝手にカッコつけるなんてまあ過去はもう変えられねえだが今後この俺様新たキットの目が届く限り誰かが己を犠牲することなんざ許さねえお前たちの前にはこの俺様がいる虫相撲札遊び駒けん玉かくれんぼお前が知ってる遊びも知らない遊びも俺様は全部できるぜどうだ何で勝負する全戦全敗の準備でもしておけよ<笑>鬼バーバは鬼じゃねえあの人は世界で一番俺様によくしてくれる人間だただ俺様を引き取ってから鬼バーバって呼ばれるようになっちまった俺様は別に他人からどう見られようと気にしねえだが俺様のせいで
あの人が何か言われる姿は見たくねえどう月やめは上から下まで全部お宝だぜ飴の美味しさはもちろん棒を口に加えてもかっこいい自由奔放な気質が出るからなほらお前も試してみろよ俺様は鬼だぞ鬼嫌いなもんはもちろん豆だ黄色いのも緑色の,のも全部ダメだ食べるどころか触れただけでアレルギー反応が出るだから豆をまく悪いしきたりは早く根絶してくれ今日は重要な日だこのためにわざわざ仲間たちには外に出てもらったんだじゃないとひいきしてるって言われちまうほら見ろよ俺様がお前のために用意した誕生日の贈り物だどれも上等なもんだぜ3日未晩かけてやっと捕まえた特急の鬼カブタムシ300回の勝負を経て勝ち取った限定の札それから俺様じきじきの誕生日の歌だ、うんうんうん<笑>ハッピーバースデイトゥーユーハッピーバースデイトゥーユーおおこれだこれ力がより強くなったすげえ力が湧いてくるこれで勝率も上がるってもんだこの力パンチ一つで岩を砕けるんじゃねえかこれで俺様は名実ともに新たき天下第一一途になったわけだお前がしてくれたこと俺様は忘れねえぜ今後は俺様がお前を守ってやるガントーギューくだきやがれお前の出番だぜ器用のおとりだ鬼の狂気ランプ俺様に任せろなんか新しいもんでもあったかやっぱ俺様は運がいいぜこれで3日は働かずに済むんじゃねえか追いつけまい鬼族をなめるなよ俺様が負けを認めるとでもこれ式の傷放っておけ復讐の闘争はまだ終わってねえぞ倒れる時はかっこよくねえと。野郎どもの期待を裏切っちまったやるじゃねえかもっと力を入れてみろおい力入れすぎだろ奇襲なんざかっこ悪いぞ俺様のために道を開けな救世主様が来てやったぜこれ式のことを俺様が解決してやる。